Today's image conscious world, you know what? Your personal style plays a critical role, leaving a lasting impression and showing your confidence. As a grown man, refining your personal style is not about following trends. It's about expressing your individuality in a way that shows your sophistication and maturity. Today, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, about how to elevate your personal styles in a way that shows your best self. And that's going to be whether you want to be in a bow tie and a pocket square or, you know, car hearts and flannel. Either way, I'm going to talk about it. So let's get at it. Hey, I'm Rob Johnson and welcome to the Legacy Gentleman channel. On this channel, every day we talk about the value, skills, and works that will be admired and desired a thousand years from now. And when you have those, you, sir, are a legacy gentleman. Today, I'm going to talk about understanding personal style. So your personal style really is talking about who you are, how you express yourself, your values, and your beliefs through the clothes you wear. Because guys, I'm telling you, people form an opinion about you the way you dress. It's about finding pieces of clothing that resonates in you, and makes you feel comfortable and confident about who you are every day. And guys, I'm telling you, we naturally do this anyway. Whether you pick something that's like timeless and classic or something that's a bit more avant-garde, your personal style reflects who you are and who you want to be. And embracing that style and celebrating it is something we all need to do. And look, I get it. There's far more important things in life going on than the clothes you actually wear, what they actually say about you, unless you do not get the results in life that you want. Then it's very important that you consider what you're wearing and what those clothes are saying about you. You want to identify which items are no longer serving you, what items you had when you were a teenager, in your early 20s, or when you were out partying, and now you want to be taken seriously as a man, as a potential husband, as a potential manager, what are those clothing saying about you? Have you made some significant changes in your life about who you are and how you carry yourself, about the people you hang out with? And are your clothing saying that you're still that person or not? And look, I understand that there's a lot of fads that people can chase and look on social media and find what your attitude is supposed to be like based on the clothes you wear. That's not what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to take a look at yourself, who you want to be now, who you want to be in the future, and are your clothes helping you get there or pulling you away from it? It's been my experience that if you want to be taken seriously, you're going to have to dress like you're a serious person and carry yourself like you're a serious person. Think about your wardrobe. Maybe it's time for you to change up your wardrobe. Having a versatile wardrobe is very important to redefining your personal style. So look, you might want to invest in only a few pieces that you can mix and match, actually create outfits that'll be a staple of your wardrobe. I'm a big suit guy and tie guy, so it's important. If you're gonna try and transition into wearing suits, you need to find a tailor so you can keep those suits looking good on you. You don't have to go full suits. I like wearing bow ties. I like wearing vests for every now and again. Even if you're gonna go with a sports jacket, it needs to fit properly, so it needs to be tailored from time to time, and it just needs to look good. You know what, one of the most important centerpieces is to buy quality shoes. Buy quality shoes. I would definitely say, men, when you get over 30, you need to start wearing less and less tennis shoes, and when you get over 50, you need to absolutely avoid the New Balance shoes, but you just want to look like someone who's well put together and who thinks about what they wear. Always pay attention to detail when you're getting dressed. Make sure there are no spots or wrinkles on the clothes because this is all part of presenting yourself to people. Don't forget to add personal touches to your outfits. Like I said, watches, necklaces, interesting belts that actually match with your shoes, are all things that'll help you look like your outfit is tied together and like you're a person who pays attention to what they look like. Don't be afraid to mix and match different items to accessorize to give yourself an individual look. This is your personal style and you want to dress in a way that's comfortable for you and that makes you feel confident. Refining your personal style is really important. It's important because the way you present yourself to people is how seriously they're going to take you. And your style plays an important role in that, no matter what community you're in. I'm definitely a, a fan of being more dressed up than other people, but I think that's very important to me because that's who I present myself as. 
Understanding your style preferences in line with the goals you have for yourself, along with a very flexible wardrobe is gonna give you the confidence you need to reach those goals you set for yourself. Also gonna give you the confidence in any situation because you know you look good, I know I smell good, and I know that there's nothing that's gonna happen that I can't handle because I'm already walking in with that confidence. Experiment with different styles to express yourself and show your individuality. Look, we don't have anything to prove to anyone. We know ourselves and we know what's in us and what we can achieve. This is something you do for you to empower yourself. It is really easy to conform to what everyone else does, but when you take your step out and have your own personal style and say, I'm gonna elevate myself and my look in my dress, it is you bending the world around your wheel. And that is what I believe in every day. We don't have to conform to what other people think we should be. And it doesn't mean you go out and be crazy. You can not conform by lifting the level of everybody around you in your dress, in your actions, in your words, in your speech. Start by conducting an audit of the clothes you have. Look at the stuff that's old and out of date, that got holes, that faded, and say, oh, I don't need this because what I'm trying to do is raise my staff. Instead of buying you, you know, $150 pair of work boots, buy a $150 pair of dress boots. They'll last the same amount of time, they'll be more comfortable, and they will up your style. When men elevate their personal style, it shows that they are unique and special and it's something that men and women and children notice. So go out there, understand your style, and take it up a notch. And until next time, go be legendary.